In previous video we were showing you that Arco Nets and Advanced and Chata VM actually works, right? It still depends on drivers and all these settings and maybe you've bought a video card and now you're regretting it because you need to figure out the drivers for it. But all that aside, Chat WM is something special, right? And it's working out of the box in previous video. I've shown you that. And here it is, right? So what we have is a university without diploma, right? But everything is already available. So Arclix D stands for the D from desktop. So figure out how a desktop works with phases or phase one, phase two. You can have a look at the Arconix University pitch there, but it's basically here already available, right? Now I know I'm on a small screen here. It's just a matter of ren well, a render and X render and all that. So telling him, okay, guy, you are a bit bigger. You can be a little bigger and that's that. Okay, so that's no problem. That's just, just fun games. Alt N, give me another variety wallpaper. So this one is where you get all the information from. We have 37 videos. If you've seen them all, I guess you don't have any questions anymore about ChatWM, right? Doesn't matter if it was Darklix B or the D, because in the end it's ChatWM, right? That's one thing. Secondly, we have an normally, right? If everything is okay and everything is working for us just fine, there are two packages. And there's a pseudo packman, so I'm gonna dissect basically the desktop, right? Pseudo pacman minus S, capital S. Well, actually, remove is easier, so I can show you. So, anything about ChatWM, these two guys you need to have. This, the first one, provides this and it's always going to be in etc scale doesn't need well it, it needs to be in etc scale but it shouldn't stay in etc scale it should go to right etc scale it needs to go to your home directory and all, all that happens magically behind the curtains right this thing is actually where the app is it moves to here to here and here you play around with settings here can you can change in this folder anything related to ChatWM, but this is the app. So this is something specific. It's like DWM, it's a fork of DWM. And there is a def and a def azerti, so for my keys, azerti and qwerty. And there's a config h, and one of them needs to go. Well, for me, this one needs to go. For, for everybody, this one needs to go. I need to have the azerti ones. Let's open it up, control A. Control C, I go to this one, Control A, delete, Control V, right? I need Azerti. So this is my definitive, definitive configuration for ChatWM. Now, there are videos out there, but it's maybe a good way to, well, make one, and again, one more, just about how it all fits together and that's if we here tell him I want to have a new configuration, you can change any of these things here, right? Any of those things. But if you've changed something, you have to build it again. Because the package, the, the application, there is an application which, right? There is an application, user local bin chat WM. There is a file somewhere, an application somewhere. And that's now that we created. So you can change all you want. He's never gonna look at this folder again. Well, not true, but okay, mostly. <laughs> you need to type make. And you need to, I, I, this is just making it. And you know, now you need to install it, sudo make install. Sudo needs to be there because it's going to user share, etc. bin or something, right? Now we see where it goes to. Use a local bin, copy chat WM to use a local bin, etc. So yeah, now with all the changes, it's basically where it's supposed to be. The app, the desktop, 
is there and it's launched so guys if you have well the will or the, the in, interest in in i want to have chat over them these are the things you have a look at because these are the things that are basically um, ensuring the chat WM works and after if uh, login you can't log in have a look what's in here is there a chat WM the desktop if there's nothing there SDM says don't find anything in user share X sessions or in the Wayland folder and that's it if you don't if it for whatever reason this thing is not there it's not gonna work right let's open it up see if I can execute it like this voila so here we have user bin execute chat WM we have something special it seems we have so as a if you log in you go to this one and this one is going to that one so follow the computer I always say that in the reasoning follow the reasoning of the system so pin and we've created something called exec chat WM drag and drop voila and it goes to my home directory home Eric and in here I'm launching the run scripts so if you change the name <laughs> it won't work anymore okay there's so many things you can mess it up that's that's Linux for you <laughs> but the dot config in my home directory home Eric the dot config chat WM in the scripts there only there basically we start running things at the very end we say kill the bar and get the bar and then run chat wm this is what we do at the very end and all the rest is just for fun it's conkeys or no conkeys wallpaper or no wallpaper and this is the wallpaper it does the conkey the sexy hotkey theme right do we want key bindings the key bindings means keyboard shortcut Super Shift Enter and Super T and Super Control Alt Enter etc etc. Do we want the volume in icon up here? Nope. Okay, fine. Put the hashtag in front of it, and all these lines are basically decisions you can take. Remove, add, et voila. So here is the way to set your your X render. You know, if in the beginning I made this screen bigger, this is what it needs. It needs some kind of configuration. And I guess this one might be no, it's not the one from the. Let's just have a look. X render, right? This is virtual one, and that's the name. There is no virtual one in here. VGA, HDMI, EDP, LVDS, DVI. No, there's nothing here ready to rock and roll on VirtualBox because it's called virtual one. So this is the thing I'd like to put out there investigate right investigate how are Linux distributions using a certain desktop follow the links follow the application and for the Pacman hook and then it's complete the Pacman hook in the beginning remember that we had also Arcanlux chat WM Pacman hook basically study for instance like uh, this QL Arcanlux chat wm pacman hook right it says oh it's gonna add a hook and it's gonna be called alcoholics chat wm hook there's an alcoholics chat wm build here and then licenses blah 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 but this seems to be the most important one alcoholics etc there is a hook this hook is installed hopefully it works right have a look does it work what is it doing so we have a hook that's called Arclex Chat WM hook. It's pointing to our package. Nothing else. Whatever you're trying to do, only that one. And the Nemesis, which is our testing package. Backman hook to keep your personal chat WM running. Execute me Arclex Chat WM build. Aha. Uh -huh. Another. So we follow the, the goal, right? Or the, the flow basically and then we go to the local to the binary to the Arclex chat WM this one oh, drag and then we see here this is gonna get Eric basically find me Eric and this says home 
Eric config echo chat again. If you change the folder, everything is going berserk, right? And then we're gonna make it and install it. And that's basically how everything keeps up to date. So if an update comes in, then the hook says, oh, there's an update, but it will load your, it will build your thing. The package that brings the new chat WM, the update, will build. But the Pac-Man hook will build again, your version of it. But everything still needs to be in place. You shouldn't, you shouldn't change the folder or anything like that, because otherwise, yeah, this will not work, right? If you just change one letter or an extra space or whatever, it's broken. It won't, well, it will stop, it will, won't work. And the new Pac-Man, well, the new chat WM will be on your system, which is not that bad, but it's not yours, right? It's not in your home directory. This is the only one thing that should be running. You're working in this one, and that's what the Pac-Man hook does. It's gonna look to this thing and build it to make sure that it's yours that's running. And that's it. I think we've covered the basics again. So have a look at all the 40-ish, 36, I don't know, a lot of videos. Here, how many videos are there? We can see that in here, 37. So this will be video 38. Have a look. It really merits your attention. I love ChatWM, I really do. It's efficient, fast, and well, colorful as well. Nice in design. All right, cheers.